Hey Anna, how are <laughs> so bad at this? Yeah. Let me do that again. <laughs> so this time we're talking exclusively about the Met. What are you hoping Harry Styles will wear this year? Well, Harry Styles always looks fantastic. I think that he reminds me so much of a young Mick Jagger. So I think all of us, all of his fans certainly, which I count myself as one, are looking forward to something that is daring and fearless and colorful and different. And uh, no doubt it will be Gucci. Hey, Anna, what are your red carpet survival tips? I think everyone should be very careful to wear comfortable shoes on shoes that fit. Maybe not comfortable, but at least ones that fit. Hi, Anna. How do you choose the theme of the Met Gala every year? The theme of every exhibition is decided by Andrew Bolton, who is the chief curator of the Costume Institute, and he sometimes can make that decision up to five years ahead. And the only advice that I really ever give to Andrew is whatever the title of the exhibition is, make sure everybody understands it immediately that there can be no confusion about what the exhibition is actually about. Although, to be honest, this theme's exhibition has created a little bit of confusion. So how should someone dress to this year's theme at the Met Gala? I think this year's exhibition, more possibly than any other, is about self-expression and individuality. And what we are all, I think, most happy to see is... Uh, something that is outrageous, that is fun, tongue-in-cheek. So my guess is that we're going to see a very large amount of feathers on the red carpet. Hey, Anna, who are the biggest risk-takers in Met Gala history? There was one year, I, I can't maybe it was punk, that Hamish Bowles was uh, picking Sarah Jessica up, and she had to lie on the floor of the car because her very large headdress could not actually fit in the car. I'm always surprised and amused by Jaden Smith, who seems to always want to walk up the red carpet steps with a prop. Who knows what it might be this this year? Solange is someone that supports young designers, so it's always great to, to see a celebrity not wearing a bold-faced name, but someone who is able to have the spotlight thrust on them, which is fantastic. Katy Perry, she takes it to quite a, an extreme. My guess is that this year the men are going to rule. Who are you most excited to see at the Met this year? Well, I'm most excited to see what my co-chairs are going to wear, particularly Lady Gaga and uh, Serena Williams, RuPaul. Can't wait. Just for RuPaul, because it's RuPaul first. I wouldn't dream of <laughs> telling RuPaul what to, what to wear. I think nobody understands about how to make an entrance better than he does. And I hear he's taking it super seriously. So we look forward to being delightfully enthralled. Hey, Anna, how do you choose the invite list for the Met Gala? I will never, never answer that question. <laughs> <laughs>